Yesterday I learned about an extremely tragic and weird situation involving the mysterious death of a 26-year-old Brazilian YouTuber named Carlos Medeiros. On December 25th, he was reported missing. A big search ensued to try and find him, and eventually one of his childhood friends saw his body poking out through the dirt on a couple's property. Upon digging up the area, they found Carlos Medeiros' corpse. It was buried in a shallow grave on this couple's land. And when asked about why his body was buried there, they said that he had died during a night of cocaine-fueled sex and passed away during an orgasm while fucking the homeowner's sister. Must have been the biggest nut ever busted because this one sent him to meet his maker, according to their story. Between the drugs and the sex, he had died in their home, and the couple said that they panicked didn't know what to do, they were afraid to call an ambulance, so they came to the conclusion that it would be best to just bury his body in their yard, which is an unhinged thought process. But obviously, this is a little suspicious. This is one of those smells that smells smelly. It just doesn't make any sense. How could not one but two people, multiple sentient human beings, reach this awful idea. It makes them look extremely guilty if they're truly innocent of no foul play. Why would they think to bury this body instead of just calling authorities to report what happened? It, it doesn't add up, especially when you consider that they had previously lied about this whole situation. Initially, they said that Carlos Medeiros left their house and they had no idea where he was, and they had even allegedly made a social media post saying that they've got to find Carlos Medeiros. Come on, let's let's all find Carlos Medeiros. We gotta we gotta get him back, knowing full well they had buried him in their property. So that just there's something not right there. This is like a plot line out of L.A. Noir. So it's a really fucking wild story, and there's actually more to it that I went over on stream. So I'm gonna play you those clips now. There was a YouTuber who was buried in a backyard. Oh, you're talking about, um, the Brazilian YouTuber, right? Hold on, I'll pull that up in a second, because that was kind of crazy. Let me send a quick text. 26-year-old Brazilian YouTuber found in neighbor's backyard. It was Carlos Medeiros. Body of a 26-year-old Brazilian YouTuber has been found buried in the backyard of some of his neighbors. He was reported missing on Christmas Day after he failed to return home for dinner with friends who later said that he had left their home late at night. Madero's family searched hospitals and woods until Saturday. Someone saw a mound of dirt in the house of this couple he had visited for the holidays. They went in and saw my brother's t-shirt showing in the dirt. They called the police who went there and found him buried. So, here's their defense. The couple who owned the home claimed that the influencer died while doing drugs and having sex with uh, Caroline's sister. The couple's version is this. They buried him because they didn't know what to do with the body. That is the most... Dog shit defense I've ever heard. What do you mean you buried him because you didn't know what to do with the body? You just call the police. That's nobody's first instinct. To bury a body is such an incredible time commitment. Like, there's no way that was just impulsively done. It's not like, alright, uh, just quickly throw him in this fucking, you know, grave we made. This is absolutely seeming like they killed him. And tried to hide the body. Poorly. In a shallow grave. Because of the drugs assuming it wasn't murder. Yeah, well, I don't think they've ran a toxicology report or anything yet. I think it's still too new. But they're saying that he allegedly had an overdose while taking Caroline's sister to have sex in the bathroom. At the moment he was having an orgasm, he felt unwell and fell dead. Which I don't believe for a fucking second. Because, like, I, I would believe it. If they didn't bury his goddamn body in their garden. Also, if, he, if that is how he died, what a crazy way of going out. That is a rock star's death right there. Man's out there fucking boofing meth. You know, <laughs> all kinds of shit. Making a cocktail of ketamine. All kinds of wild shit. Has sex and dies during an orgasm. What a way to go to Valhalla. Merry fucking Christmas, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. But I don't believe that story. I really don't. If the report indicates that his death was accidental, the couple will be charged with concealing a corpse. If it is proven that he is murdered, the man and the woman will be charged with homicide. Simple enough. 
The Post reported that the couple turned themselves into authorities on Sunday. Now an autopsy will determine the cause of death. However, police said that they found evidence of stab wounds. It said that they found evidence of stab wounds, strangulation, or gunshots on the body. I think they meant found no evidence. I think that's what they meant to say. Because that reads as though, like, this is an open and shut case of not being a drug-related death. There was gunshots on the body, but it turned out what actually killed him was the weed he smoked two hours earlier. Gunshots were circumstantial. Not significant. Or is not a typo. I, I think this has to be a typo here. Let me... I'll, I'll go to another source. That really feels like a fucking typo. Yeah, let's go to this one. Oh, fuck. It's the Daily Mail. They probably just copy and pasted this article. This one's saying that they're claiming that he took cocaine and had a heart attack while fucking. And they said that they were afraid of calling an ambulance. This is where they found the body. This was the... The grave they dug for him, I guess. The couple had initially lied and said that Medeiros left their home after dinner before later confessing to a different story. This is baloney! What a load of fucking fish paste! This is... He didn't die from cocaine and f sex. Like, the... It's not... That's, I don't believe this for a second. Also, these ads are nuts. These ads are going fucking insano style. Man, all this inundation with ads will put you in an early grave. Good God, what an eyesore. They also made a social media post asking the public for help finding Medeiros. Shameless, absolutely shameless. There's no way, there is no sensible couple that would bury a body of someone that just died in their home while having sex with their sister. That's already wild. And there is no way that they would start lying about it and then making social media posts. They abs There's some fishiness afoot. Civil Police Chief Louis Faria told G1 that the incident is being investigated as a homicide, homicide committed by an unknown perpetrator. Sounds about right. Okay, yeah, it was a typo. During the search for the uh, firefighters... According to a police report, Madero's body did not display any signs of violence. The house was set on fire. What? The house was set on fire by neighbors, but no arrests have been made. What? What? Wait, what? What is happening in this story? It's like an episode of CSI that just keeps going. So their house got set on fire? Residents in the Brazilian town set fire to the home where the body of the influencer was found buried. Jeepers, creepers, Jiminy Christmas! Mob justice. Yeah, that's what it seems like. It reminds me of um, the second Halloween movie, Evil Dies Tonight. And then they just torched it. Imagine the evidence destroyed in that fire, though. Yeah, it's not a very well thought out plan. Look down there, only charged with concealing a corpse. Yeah, we already we already covered that. Well, they will be charged with concealing a corpse if it was accidental or if it's ruled, like, after the autopsy that he died from a heart attack from cocaine. Then my brain just had one of those, like, record scratch moments where everything just went foggy. Right now, it's just looking at concealing a corpse if it was accidental and his death was a heart attack from cocaine. But if it turns out they killed him, obviously they're going to be charged with murder. It'd be so much less suspicious if they didn't burn the fucking house. Well, no, the family didn't burn the house. The community did. Assuming that there was foul play afoot here. They hid the body and then lied. And then made a social media post like, where is he? We gotta find him. When he was in their backyard. And they're lying about that too. Oh, interesting. So you're claiming that the couple burnt the house down to hide further evidence. It wasn't the community. Oh, an interesting theory. That seems like a really drastic step to take. When they could have just scrubbed it all with bleach. Yeah, but they did just bury a body in their backyard. Yeah, that is also pretty drastic. True, true.